Hey folks, this is David Fine from Keys Moz. In this video, it's gonna be a little different. I wanna show you guys how to properly handle a butterfly without harming it, okay? And so, I've got a zebra long wing here and I'm gonna walk you through seven quick pointers, things to remember when handling a butterfly so that you don't harm the butterfly. So guys, check this video out as we get into the tutorial. All right guys. I'm going to try and show you how to handle a butterfly without messing it up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come find a butterfly in South Florida. That's not a problem. I don't know why they like my, my net, my net here. So here we go, guys, two zebra long wings. One of the first things you got to know, step number one in how to handle a butterfly without harming it is you can't swing too hard, okay? So you got a, a nice gentle swing and you gotta make sure you're taking care of your butterfly. Now, one myth about butterflies is that they're so fragile that if the scales on their wings come off, then the butterfly is going to die. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to clarify that that is not true. So the scales on a butterfly's wings are there for decoration, they're there for patterning, for camouflage, for mimicry, for things like that. But when those scales rub off, the butterfly's wings are actually made of keratin, the same substance that your fingernails are made out of, and the butterfly lives just fine without the scales present. And so I just wanted to clarify that for everybody. If a butterfly loses its scales, it still can fly and it doesn't die. So one, once we catch our butterfly, we throw it, we catch it in the net, you know, we wanna move quickly because you don't want the butterfly flapping around in the net for, for long at all. In fact, as little time as possible that the butterfly can spend in the net, the better. So as you press the fabric down on the butter, around the butterfly, the fabric of the net, when the wings are closed, so you don't wait for the butterfly to close its wings, press the fabric down around the sides of the wings to hold the wings in the closed position. Then you reach your hand in and grab your butterfly. Uh, there's been literally no pressure put on this butterfly. This, is, this butterfly is completely unharmed right now. So guys, step number three, when you're going to handle a butterfly, um, I would use always your middle finger and your pointer finger and the reason being when you use your thumb you can use your thumb and your index finger like this but I think you have a little bit you, you have a little bit less of a pinch when you use your middle and pointer fingers step number four guys now that you're gonna grab your butterfly you're gonna grab your butterfly as close to the thorax as possible and the reason, reason being is that's where the wing is the strongest. And so you're going to grab them with, with the wings closed. And you're going to grab it by both forewing veins. On the front of the forewing, there's a big vein. That's the strongest portion of the butterfly wing. And if you, and if you hold it by those two forewing veins, the butterfly wing will not break. It won't bend. And you will not harm your butterfly at all. Step number five, guys, try not to handle the butterfly by the body. Now, there's a really big uh, temptation to hold the butterfly here by the thorax. And if you do that, you might put a little too much pressure and crush the organs or the exoskeleton of the butterfly, or you might damage its legs. And so if you hold it by here, these legs could get damaged, and if they, if they come off, then the butterfly has a real problem because it can't hold on to things when it's landed. It can't taste because its taste buds are on its feet, um, and it, it, a bunch of problems happen. You don't want the butterfly to lose its legs. So uh, try not to handle the butterfly by the body, by the head, only by the forewing, uh, both forewings when they're closed. Don't pick the butterfly up by one wing you gotta make sure they're closed and pick it up by, by both wings and then you will not harm the butterfly. Okay, point number six, guys. When handling a butterfly, do not handle the butterfly 
by the hind wings, okay? So we've got the four wings that are up here, and then the hind wings that come off the, that are a little bit further around the back, they're usually smaller. And what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna pick the butterfly up here by the hind wing. You wanna pick him up by the four wing Costa because that's where he uses those four wings for his power. That's where all of his power is. And, um, and so you wanna keep the butterfly under control. If you pick him up by here, those four wings are gonna go crazy and the butterfly is gonna probably rip its wings or, um, or destroy its wings. So you don't wanna pick it up by the hind wings. When you're handling a butterfly, do not handle the butterfly by the outer wing tips. Okay, always handle it as close to the thorax as possible without touching the thorax. If you, if you grab the butterfly out here by the wing tips, those wing tips are real flimsy and they have absolutely no uh, way to keep from breaking. So the butterfly is gonna try to flap its wings and if you're holding it by out here, it's gonna flap its wings and it's gonna kink, the wings are gonna kink, the wings are gonna break and this is not the most stable portion of the wing to hold it by. You're gonna use the inner forewing uh, to hold your butterfly by. All right, folks, point number seven, if you're handling a butterfly and it's a female and you wanna bring it home for egg laying or egg production, um, one of the best ways to do that is, you know, you could put it in a large cage, but sometimes uh, when butterflies are in a cage, they will beat themselves up. So what I like to do I like to grab a large glassine envelope that you can order from like a BioQuip, um, BioQuip products, and I'll put a link in the description for that website below. And you can order these; are very inexpensive. It's just made of like like a wax paper of some sort, and you can put the butterfly in the glassine envelope, and then gently close the envelope on top of the butterfly like that. Butterfly's still alive, it keeps the wings closed, and no, no damage is happening to the insect. Uh, then what I would do with this then is put it inside, inside like a cooler with a, like an ice pack or something like that to keep it cool, keep it dark. The butterfly goes into a rest, resting kind of um, mentality, and then you can bring the butterfly home and then release it into a flight aviary or flight cage. So. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it. And now what I want to display for you guys is we are going to release our butterfly. And I'm going to grab him once again by the inner four-wing costa with two fingers. And I want to show you that I'm going to release our butterfly completely unharmed. And he's going to fly away just like that. So, guys, that's about it. Here's our zebra. As you can see, there's like no scales missing at all. Uh, I put very, very little pressure, very little stress on the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly is just kind of gaining its bearings right now, and it should just fly. But imagine it can just fly right away. There it goes. See? Totally unharmed. And she, he's flying just fine. All right, guys. Hope you learned something. Uh, we've got plenty more videos where this comes from because I'm into the but butterfly and moth rearing butterfly and moth husbandry every now and then we'll take a specimen for scientific research and we're going to show you how to prepare uh, insects for scientific research as well so guys give me a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to share it with your friends and if you haven't done so already subscribe because we got plenty more where this is coming from till next time let's get out there and enjoy south florida take care